Hello there, everybody. I'm Mr. Gamefy, and this is Let's Play Banjo Tooie Part 16. Last time we did uh, the overworld stuff in between uh, Jolly Roger Lagoon and uh, this world, Pterodactyland. As well as we got like Pterodactyland started up and started doing stuff. Alright, in this video, um, I believe that we will be fighting the boss of Pterodactyland, uh, at some point, at least. As well as getting, uh, some other stuff done. Now, first, we have to actually get to the boss. The boss is at the very top of the area. As such, we will be doing things, um, as we get there. A variety of things, even. <laughs> Sort of like on our journey up, we have some adventures. Adventures are fun. Oh yeah, skill stop honeycomb. That's not worth it whenever I only have one health missing. <laughs> okay, so here's an instance. Clockwork Kazooie egg. Have to go to, into this hole. I see there are these guys around here. They have this big armor and stuff. Really tough and all. Alright, but their backsides are exposed, so you gotta explode on them with the Clockwork Kazooie eggs. Beat all of them, and uh, you get a jiggy for it. I need some more of these. There we go. Not too many more, though. Okay. Now, onward to f Oh, hamsters! No, no, you get away from me! Why are you comboing me like that? That's not cool. Oh, Globo. I like Globos. They're useful in stuff. And what's down here? I don't even know where I'm going. I mean, I'm going down, which isn't exactly good. Um, no. How about I don't go down there? I need to keep ascending. Equal, equal, greater than. Mr. Game and Pie, ascend. <laughs> oh, in here. This dude. Check this out. This is where we've been coming to all these times. Now we've come full circle. If you didn't do what I did and um, did a whole lot of bit sequence breaking, you would have been able to get the egg hatching move here. So yeah, now you know where you're, what you're supposed to do to get that move. So anyway, upward and onward. And I need those spring shoes that were in that area back there. So let's just go back again real quick. Now, an annoying thing about the spring shoes is that you can't jump while you're wearing them without losing them. Since you only get to do your super jump once, and there's no, like, intermediate jumps. So no jumping over those holes. Oh? Get a load of this! But yeah. <laughs> now, many people would believe that Terry is a female. After all, you are. It is talking about uh, you stealing its eggs, right? Except, no! Terry's a dude! Uh, you learn this from the instruction manual and from Zombified King Jingling if you uh, s stick around long enough. Uh, apparently, his wife left him. And uh, that's. that's no good. <laughs> But anyway, yeah. Terry, not happy at us. Also, teleportation pad. Sounds good. Let's do this. <laughs> Sup. Ooh. 
look, I have a lot of eggs, but none of them are yours. Ooh, Kazooie low blow. <laughs> Dang! This dude's angry. Okay. Um, let's just switch back to fire eggs here. Okay, so Terry in too hard. Starts out by shooting this pink snot at you. And he starts flying around like a crazy person. And, uh, yeah, you just shoot stuff. Yes, the mucoids. Quite dangerous. Fortunately, they don't even realize that you are shooting fire at them. So you can just sort of use that as a protective barrier. Yes, I am a thief of snot. That, my friends, is logic. Come on. Okay. Where are you? There you are. Crazy bird. Okay, more mucoids. Let's go! I really like this boss music. Great stuff. Some of the themes in the game lend themselves to better boss music than others. This is definitely on the higher end of the list. Though really, I'd say that all the boss themes in this game are good. Oh! Actually hit me! Okay. Let's do this. There you are. Bird, you need some more fire! It was a very good view up here. With all those mountains in the background and stuff. Awesome Nessity! Alright, Terry, what you got? You got more pink snot. Seriously, Terry, this is not sanitary. I mean, really, this stuff is killing me whenever I touch it. Oh, and Terry is done. Had enough, had ya? Aw, oh, don't say that. <laughs> wow. Sounds good. Yes, our Jiggy is obtained. And this is really why I wanted to fight Terry first thing. Because of this flight pad up here. Very, very useful. We will, in fact, be using it. Okay, so now there are five eggs. Scattered about the world. Ready for hatching. Now, aside from the jiggy that we can get right there, we can break down here and get another jiggy! I just realized how we've basically gotten no jiggies until just now in Pterodactyland. But anyway, now there is this exit right here, which we uh, used to go into this area. However, there's also another exit over here. Okay, inside the mountain. Now there is an egg ready for hatching uh, right up there, but I'm going to be getting that one last. No, no, no. The reason why we're here right now 
is for something a little bit different. It's for this thing right over here. Just give me a second. I didn't quite make it onto the platform in the middle, so I'm going to need to use this flight pad to get up there. First, red feathers. There we go. Okay. Make a nice pathway back up to the area, so I don't have to use the flight pad to get up here every time. Chompasaurus! Stomach cramped carnivore! Gee whiz, this area has two bosses! Kinda. Except not really. Dang! Great, we're on the inside of another creature. You can consciously control digestion? No, I'll explain to the viewers. Okay, so this is another one of those uh, mini games. Just pretty much you can spin around and that's that's about all you have to do. Yeah. Get to get a bunch of points. It's not too bad. As long as you keep spinning around like a crazy person. Oh, there's another one. And the points are as usual. Red, one, blue, three, green, two. We've been over this already. Really, just a bunch of mindless spinning later and you'll have your jiggy. And you won't be dead. Because, you know, he wants to digest you and stuff. Except, I don't think it matters if you succeed or fail. He, he, he still doesn't digest you. So, yeah, uh, I have over 100 points. I'm pretty sure I only got supposed to get, like, 60. This is easy. Like, like, seriously, this is not hard at all. You thought it was a biscuit. Are you crazy, man? Anyway, yeah, there we go. Heck no. Now we just have to walk out of him. This throat does not look healthy at all. I mean, I know he's a reptile and all, but gee whiz. And there he goes. Back into the water, unseen. Like a dinosaur ninja. An aquatic dinosaur ninja. Truly, the Banjo-Kazooie universe is a marvel to behold. Okay, time to get serious here. Oh! Falling! Yes, that happens. Ow! How about you don't do that? Oh yeah, that was the thing that I needed to show off. I'm glad that I did that. Uh, pressing the uh, attack button twice in a row. The Briegel Brat. The Briegel Bash. That's, uh, that's what that was. I'm glad I got to show it off, I guess. I, I didn't even intend to do that. Let's try that again. Yeah, there we go. It's, um, not very practical, but it's a nice thing to have. Just, if you want to have all the moves in the game. And I don't even remember what is in this hole. Seriously, I am drawing a blank as to where this leads. Oh, it leads to here. Yeah, this is kind of important. Just shoot this over his... Okay, don't shoot it over there. Yeah, just shoot it over his club here. And run behind him. Explosions! I am the explosion. It is me. Alright, looks like we've just about wrapped up this video. I'm gonna get that Jinjo that we opened up in uh, the last episode. And I think I'll call it a vid. In the next video, we'll probably be working with these holes and these cages over here. Crazy stuff. 
Here we go! Yes, beautiful. Thanks to beating uh, Terry, we have obtained our flight pad for the area. Come on now. Go in there so I can end the episode. There we go. All right, folks. Until next time, I've been Mr. Empire. See y'all later.